Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today is One Ounce Wednesday. One Ounce Wednesday is a day where I take a sample like this that I get from people like you, and I pour it into a glass like this, and I swirl it like that, and I smell it and taste it, and I tell you what I think about it. So if you're ready, and that made sense, then I'm ready. If that didn't make sense, I totally get that too. Today on One Ounce Wednesday, thanks again to our good friend Cam over at Drums and Drams on YouTube. Drums and Drams. That freaking guy sent me a bunch of samples. And this One Ounce Wednesday, we're tasting Remus Volstead Reserve. Ah, there we go. This bottle was released in 2019 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Volstead Act. There was the 18th Amendment, and then there was the Volstead Act. The 18th Amendment was like, bitches, guess what? No alcohol for you, sons of bitches. And then the Volstead Act was like, now all y'all bitches have to listen because we're going to start enforcing this bitch. This is from MGP or Ross and Squiggly or whatever it's called now. They changed their name to something silly, and I'm just going to call it something silly every time I say their name now. Moss and Squeebs. This is a 14-year-old 100-proof 21% corn MGP bourbon. When this was first available on the shelves, this baby rang in at about 200 bucks. What does it go for now? I don't know, but if I decide to look it up later, I'll put it right here. First nose on this Remus goes like this. Ooh, sweetness. A little nuttiness, which is weird for an MGP. Hmm. Weird. This smells like a tree. This kind of smells like the woods. Like if you were lost in the woods as a child. This is what fear smells like. This reminds me of when I'd go launch my boat up at Mirror Lake in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Just backing the boat down the dirt ramp, trying not to run it into any trees. Failing. This smells like the woods in Upper Michigan. That oak is really rocking it. Really rocking it. Way to go, oak. Way to rock it. Psh, high five. Whoosh, slap on the trunk. This is super cool because guess what? It's a special release MGP bourbon. And if it smelled like every other MGP bourbon that you could buy, then what's so special about it? Am I wrong? Am I right? This smells special. Let's put it down the hatch to find out if this is one good son of a batch. Princess Patrick. Wow. Charles Oakley, that's Oakey. That is good. That is good. Wow. That is my jam. It's weird because we all have our things that we really like, and we have things that we don't really like. Some people get put off by what other people get put on by. Put on by? No. Some people enjoy things that other people don't enjoy. Like butt stuff. Heavy oak is like the butt stuff of bourbon. It's like some people are like, oh baby, more oak. And other people are like, uh uh uh. Personally, for me, this is a poke directly in the oak. And I love it. The oak. Going back to the nose now after tasting it, and the nose is tremendous. It's like an oaky perfume you could rub all over your body. This bourbon's not gonna rub your back with Love Spell Lotion from Bed Bath & Beyond or Bath & Body Works, whichever place sells Love Spell. But this bourbon, I don't know where I was going with that. There's some like cotton candy on there. There's like a little bit of if cotton candy were made inside of a charred oak vessel, and then that cotton candy could get you basically slammered, it's what this tastes like. It's like a cotton candy, charred oak. It 
It's good. It's just good, okay? Do I wish this were higher proof? Maybe just a little bit. Maybe just a little bit, but not too much. This drinks very well at 100 proof. Would it drink better at 110? Maybe. Possibly. But you know what they say. If something's broken, don't fix it. I enjoy this Remus Volstead Reserve 14-year bourbon from Indy Friggin' Anna. I like it a lot. Today I give Remus Volstead Reserve a score of... 8.7? It's an 8.7 on this one ounce Wednesday? It's tremendous. It's ridiculous. It's really freaking good. This is my jam. This is my jam. This makes my four pound cheeks raise a little bit when I try to smile. Wow! It's like weightlifting from my mouth. But seriously, thank you, Cam Drums and Drams on YouTube, for sending this Remus Volstead Reserve 14 year. I friggin' love it. So good. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. And like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on remembering where the Easter eggs went. Where do you put them? Maybe you put them somewhere after 16 Schlitzes, or after 14 Fireballs, or 16 Stag Juniors. And then the next morning, you're just as surprised as the kiddos when you open up the fridge and there are Easter eggs stuffed inside of a watermelon. All I'm saying is pay close attention to where you put the eggs. That way you're not surprised in July when something starts to smell really, really bad and you find that you hid an egg above the refrigerator in the back of the cabinet underneath the red Solo cups when you go get the red Solo cups. That's just solid advice. Just solid advice. Will that advice help you this year? No. I'm a little bit late for that. Super sorry. Should have thought of that one earlier. But maybe, just maybe, I didn't even think about it until I fudged up myself. Am I a man full of wisdom? Yeah, and pizza. So if you like this content, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, leave me a comment below. Do I look good in this old Forrester t-shirt?